Hey, Tim Spam here. Today, trying to play with a couple of uh, CDC use cases. We're all hands in on this. Now, there's a lot to unpack when you start talking CDC, and I'm writing up an article, but I figured I, I need to have a video uh, just to show what's going on. And there's a lot of different use cases and a lot of different ways you could look at uh, change data capture or as I said uh, before, cat data capture. Uh, you have different kinds of databases out there, relational and non-relational. Fortunately, uh, there's been some awesome work done out there in the open source, and a project called Debezium is usually the main way we get our data. MySQL has some other stuff, and there's the Project Canal that does a couple out of MySQL, and uh, there's uh, some databases have stuff that pushes it out on their own, and there's some third-party stuff and some paid stuff. But Debezium is it's the money. <laughs> Most people are using it. It's a great way to do stuff. So what, what's going to happen is I have a NiFi flow that's capturing data from some public transit sources. It could be any source. This is just a small table I wanted to start with. Grabs the data, and we'll show you that. Then use input database record, pushes that into Postgres, lands in a table. I'll show you it in the table. And then I've got Flink hooked up with Debezium. Again, awesome Debezium. That's doing CDC on that particular bus table. And when a record show comes up, it's going to push it out through Debezium into Flink. No Kafka in that. Now, on the other side, I have... Again, that same table, which is interesting. I got double CDC going on. I don't know what you call that, DCDC, we'll see. So Postgres gets that same update from Knife. I didn't draw the line in here. Uh, maybe I put them both together, I don't know. I don't know what's cleaner design here. I'm trying to think of that out. Most people are probably not gonna do both CDCs at the same time. I just wanted to try them both out since got all this infrastructure set up on my uh, laptop on my tiny uh, server. So this case, also Debezium, when that record gets in there, it gets pushed into Kafka because I have Debezium set up with uh, Kafka Connect thanks to uh, Streams Messaging Manager. And that's going to get into a Kafka topic here. And you can see it's coming into tspan.public.newjerseybus. And this is because in Postgres we got database, schema, table name. You can play around with how you want that formatted, but that makes sense. And that's a JSON record. Now, I have NiFi consuming that, and it's interesting is that data comes into that topic with a whole bunch of extra cool stuff for the event. Now, it's got the, could have the before data, could have the after if you're doing an update or whatever. CDC with the bees in, pretty cool. But just say, for this use case, I'm just doing inserts. Inserts is gonna have the after record and a whole bunch of metadata. So I take that table record, that's that uh, after, parse that out, and I push that right into Oracle. Why not? You know, maybe I want to keep two databases in sync. I could also push it to Kudu, Iceberg, S3, Snowflake, Mongo, File, tons of different things. It's a great thing in Knife. I could do them all. At the same time, if someone tells me at the next meetup, can we push it to those other places? Yeah, let's push it to all of them at once. Why not? That's the great thing about uh, Kafka and NiFi. Spread that out. No problem. Federate it wherever it needs to go. But in this case, comes into there. So I clean it out. Just grab that after record. So it's just the fields. And thanks to another put database record, put it into Oracle. We'll show you it showing up in the table. And I'm also taking that data, putting it into another topic with some metadata that I picked from that original event data that I think is a value. Maybe I'll put some other flags in there. Maybe I'll enrich it with some lookup data. Maybe put the weather. Let me know in uh, comments somewhere if there's uh, stuff in there you want to see. So we've got the two use cases, one with Flink, one with Kafka. NiFi is everywhere because that's my glue and I don't want to have to handwrite some spring code. 
Expo at the next spring conference if people want to see that. Not a bad thing to do. And you could also call uh, Debezium Library directly. But uh, let's not get into that. So we have uh, NiFi, as you might expect with me. So I have a little flow here that grabs uh, New Jersey uh, Transit Bus Advisory data. This is RSS, so XML. So I'm going to run a record here. I have that coming into transit. And we do a lot of parsing. I call that, get that uh, feed, convert it into JSON. If it's not empty and it's, uh, you know, in special advisory, it's got to get parsed a different way. Otherwise, I split it out, get the link, build a new data format. Uh, I could do some, uh, push it to Slack if I want to for messaging. Otherwise, I'm going to add a couple extra fields here, timestamp a primary key, what services was. So I know it was bus and I know it was New Jersey Transit. So the same code can handle anybody who has RSS for uh, transit, which is some people. I mean, there's so many different things. To make the data not go too fast, I've got this control rate to slow it down. Obviously in production, you don't want that. But for demos, this is great. So here's how I'm pushing it to Postgres, as you can see here. There's no, I don't have to map fields. There's none of that boring ETL where I can map this to map this. Lots of boring work there. Instead, I've got a schema here. It tells me the name of the field and the type and if it's nullable. So NiFi does the magic for me of sending this to Postgres. So let's take a look at Postgres. Thanks to our happy tool here. So I'm in Postgres down here. I got a connection. And I've got a table down here. The bus got those fields you expected. And I could see the data here. I, and you can see the diagram. I could also do a little, uh, do a query here and just, uh, you know, see what the data is. So I could sort it uh, by uh, that timestamp we added or the pub date. There's the timestamp. We're going to order by that descending. So we could see that we got uh, recent data that uh, from that table. Okay, so we've got data in there. It's uh, coming in. New data is coming in as we load it. And we could see that in NiFi. Make sure we look at the data provenance. And you could see that's the current time I'm recording this. And we can make sure we got uh, some records here that got pushed out. As you can see, a lot of metadata. And I can look at the data. Oh, as a point, I'm running this on NiFi 122. Performance is nice. There's a bunch of updates. I posted that article. Definitely check that out. Uh, so that went to Postgres. Now what's cool is I got a Presto thing I'll show you later. Right now, so that went to Postgres. We saw it showed up in the database. So let's do the uh, Kafka CDC use case. So I'm going to go here. This is my uh, streams messaging manager. You could use other tools to look at Kafka, but I've got my Kafka connect set up here. If I look in here, I could see that I just have one worker running again. It's running on my laptop. You can see all the connections here. It's using uh, Debezium Postgres uh, to set up how it's going to build a topic. And we'll see that in a minute. Where's my server password port database user. Uh, what style pg output is the easiest and that one works by default so we'll use that so if you need to do uh, admin on this there's a swagger and rest if we don't want to have to use the ui we could see here it is pushing it to this topic here and we could go right into that topic and we could see data coming in and if we take a look it's json but you see it's the debezium a CDC format that has the schema of the origin, schema of the after. Down here you could see, way down here is the actual data and it pushes this as, uh, there's the before, there's the after. No before because I did an insert. So that's the data. All that is the metadata around it. So that's sitting in that Kafka topic. Now I can use that however I want. So however I want is going to be NiFi because NiFi. I uh, could use other tools, but I'm going to consume from that topic. 
and it's JSON in, JSON out, all that fun stuff. So we'll start getting the data. I'm gonna set a schema name in there. I'm gonna split the records out, and then I'm gonna parse it because it's got that special Debezium format. There's other ways to do this. I could probably write a custom processor, but no, not today. Um, so I'm just grabbing using uh, JSON path the fields I want. Uh, again, if it was before, or there was, uh, if I did update, insert, delete, they would, may have an after, may have a before, probably have an after, that's the current state, that's the one I'm, I'm, I'm interested in, because I know for my use case, I'm doing inserts. If you get both, you can maybe compare them. There's a lot of stuff you could do. Uh, that might be a fun use case for Flink. And I'm grabbing all the metadata fields that I want about the, the source. And as it comes in, you could see, uh, then after that, I take the after to build a new file. And then uh, once I have that new file, I could do some filtering on that. I didn't, making sure it's not empty. And then this new processor, if you haven't used it before, really awesome. Fork enrichment will let me fork off that file. As you can see, we had 700 records. And uh, then combine them with this join enrichment. Now I'm sending a original one, which was just that uh, the real data. And if we look at that real data, we can look at the actual file. That is just those original fields, no extra stuff in there. And what's nice there is I'm going to push that to Oracle. And if we look, we're getting those records sent into Oracle. And if we go into Oracle, we could see that. And we should do select counts. Uh, Oracle I have up here. This is using the Dockerized free version. But if we go into New Jersey bus, we could see the data coming in. I could also sort this one by the timestamp and we could do refresh, make sure we get stuff. We probably should do a count, like make sure people believe me that the new data is coming in, but that's the time. Uh, but uh, give you an idea. So the data got sent to Oracle, like I said in my thing, and that same data, I added those fields from all the metadata I wanted in there, some Kafka ones, some of those source fields that we grabbed. And then I join those together, uh, inserting those new enrichment fields. So now we've got a new JSON file that has uh, some extra goodies in it. So if we take a look, it's not just those original title, description, link data. We now have the source fields, those Kafka fields. Great way to do that. And I took that original one, sent it to the database, my new Tim enhanced CDC format put here, then I send that to uh, Kafka, and we can see those both in Kafka. That's this one here is my enhanced, or whatever you wanna call this format. And you can see it's got that combined things here, and I just did it as JSON. Uh, so we've got a couple of uh, bus formats here. The one from Debezium, the one with my new CDC stuff, and the, uh, we're all one that's just going into Kafka. So we've seen this happen using uh, Debezium through Kafka Connect, which is the standard and original way, but we've got another way and that's been getting those records too as we've been sending those over. Uh, so this is Flink SQL in the SQL Stream Builder tool, it makes it really easy to run these queries. And I have a table set up. If you see here, it says Postgres CDC, New Jersey bus. And that is this table I have set up here. I don't know why I didn't. Can I change the color here? It's, uh, I copied that DDL and put it in the uh, GitHub. But this created a table for me automatically from uh, Postgres CDC. This is a Debezium connector. We've got that linked in. I don't need Kafka here. This points uh, right in this format, gets it right from that uh, Debezium connector here. Same thing, same style with the PG output, grabbing those fields as they change in uh, Postgres. And we have them here, and like everything else in Flink SQL, I can insert this into another topic, I can do a join, do any kind of SQL on it, because this table uh, is just getting these rows as they change. 
and as you can see here it's a little different because it, it's just grabbing it from that table so it doesn't have any of the uh, other CDC fields which is fine uh, so I could create a materialized view insert it into something join it with something else just to show you two styles of uh, CDC here and then I can push it into the cloud version if I wanted to via uh, a rest endpoint or you know through Kafka which I could do through uh, mirror maker 2 or through NiFi pushing it up to another Kafka cluster that's hosted somewhere else just to give you an idea so now if I put the record in flink got it and then you saw NiFi read that record when Debezium Kafka connected it, put it into Oracle, and put it out into another topic. So that's a lot of Kafka topics. If you don't think you need them all, you don't have to. But I have this all documented here, and I've got some more screenshots. So you can build this pretty straightforward. If you want to see some other CDC use cases, definitely let me know. Uh, this is running in dockerized version of everything so you can get this uh, at SQL Stream Builder and SQL uh, Streams Messaging Manager with Kafka, with Flink, with uh, Schema Registry, with all this and you could run this you know on Docker on your laptop same with NiFi great way to run some uh, use case and do some development Thanks for sticking by. If you want to see some more stuff here, have some suggestions for some more uh, cat data capture, reach out. Thanks.